Hey friends, Miss Cassie here with Soul and Public Library's Digital Storytime. <laughs> this month we're talking all about the season of winter, and this week we are going to talk about winter animals. But first we need to sing our welcome song, and we need to get our clapping hands ready. So we're going to wiggle our fingers and shake our hands and rub them together really fast, really fast, really fast, and put them on our knees. Okay, here we go. If you want to read a book, clap your hands. If you want to read a book, clap your hands. If you want to read a book, have a seat and take a look. If you want to read a book, clap your hands. What do we do after we clap our hands? That's right, we stomp our feet. If you want to read a book, stomp your feet. If you want to read a book, stomp your feet. If you want to read a book, have a seat and take a look. If you want to read a book, stomp your feet. All right, what do we do after we stomp our feet? That's right, we twirl around. If you want to read a book, twirl around. If you want to read a book, twirl around. If you want to read a book, have a seat and take a look. If you want to read a book, twirl around. All right, for our last verse, we're going to be as quiet as we can. And we're going to whisper, hooray. If you want to read a book, whisper hooray, hooray. If you want to read a book, whisper hooray, hooray. If you want to read a book, have a seat and take a look. If you want to read a book, whisper hooray, hooray. All right, friends, our theme song this month is the Mitten Song. So get your fingers ready. <laughs> thumb in the thumb, place fingers all together. This is the song we sing in Mitten weather. When it is cold, it doesn't matter whether Mitten Tins are wool or made of finest leather. This is the song we sing in mitten weather. Thumb in the thumb, place fingers all together. <laughs> Yay! Our first book today is called No Two Alike, written and illustrated by Keith Baker. So we're gonna follow these two red birds all around their neighborhood in the winter and see what they can see. No two snowflakes are alike. Can you show me your twos? One, two. Almost, almost. But not quite. So snowflakes can be almost the same, but not exactly. No two nests, soft and round. Look at the picture. What are the two different nests in the picture? That's right, we have one bird's nest and one squirrel's nest. No two tracks upon the ground. We have little footprints and then also little ski tracks. No two branches, no two leaves. No two forests full of trees. Oh, I see another winter animal in this picture. We have our two birds and we have one orange fox, that's right. No two fences, long and low. Look, one of those fences is made out of metal and the other one looks like it's made out of wood, that's right. No two roads, where do they go? One of those roads goes on and it's like a dark brown color and it kind of zigzags like this and then the other one looks like it's dark asphalt and it goes off the other direction. 
One of them goes to Wonderville, according to the signs in the picture, and one of them goes to Yonderville. <laughs> Almost the same name, but not quite. No two bridges, wood or stone. So look, we've got a tree trunk that has fallen. So we have a wooden bridge over that little stream. And then we also have some rocks that help you cross the stream. No two houses. Anyone home? What color are the two bird houses on the tree? That's right, one is yellow and one is green. That's right. No two friends, large or small. Oh, look, we have many other bird friends joining us. We have a brown owl and a black crow and an orange woodpecker, maybe, and a blue bird and a green bird. We have two different green birds and three brown birds, all kinds of different bird friends but none of them are exactly the same. No two alike among you all. Oh, and now we have some other woodland winter friends joining us. Do you see the two rabbits? Yeah, and the two chipmunks, the little brown chipmunks. We also have two brown bears and two red foxes and three brown deer. They've joined all of those bird friends. Now the birds, the red birds are looking at each other and they say, are we the same, just alike? What do you think? Are they exactly the same? They look very similar, almost, almost, but not quite. So look, we have their two tail feathers and one is red and a little bit lighter on the end. And the other one is red and it is darker on the end. So not quite exactly the same, the end. We're gonna sing a song called The Snow Song. <laughs> and for this song, our fingers are gonna be the falling snow. And at first the snow is on the ground. So we're gonna tap our knees, the snow is on the ground. Then the snow is on the roof and we're gonna tap our shoulders. <laughs> and then the snow is on the trees and we're gonna tap our heads. Here we go. The snow is on the ground, the snow is on the ground. It's winter time, it's winter time, the snow is on the ground. The snow is on the roof, <laughs> the snow is on the roof. It's winter time, it's winter time, the snow is on the roof. The snow is on the trees, the snow is on the trees. It's winter time, it's winter time, the snow is on the trees. So inside I'll stay, so inside I'll stay. Inside it's nice and warm, so inside I'll stay. <laughs> In our next book that we're gonna read, some winter animals find a nice warm place to curl up in a lost mitten. Now I have some mittens here and they are all mixed up. Will you help me put together the matching mittens so that we can put them on to go outside and play? Oh, great, thank you. So let's start with this mitten. Let's take a look. This mitten is purple with a white snowflake on it. Can you help me find another purple mitten with a white snowflake? Oh, good. Let's see. Is this mitten purple with a white snowflake? 
No, this mitten is red with a red snowflake, not a match. What about this mitten? Is this mitten a purple mitten with a white snowflake? Yes, it is. We have our first match. All right, let's look at this one. What color is this mitten? That's right, it is green with green stripes. Let's find a green mitten with green stripes. Let's see, is this mitten a match? No, this mitten is orange with orange polka dots. Not the same. Let's see, what about this mitten? Is this mitten a match? No, this mitten is pink with a white flower on it. Not a match. What about this mitten? Are these mittens both green with green stripes? Yes, they are. Another match. Let's find the match for this mitten. What color is it? That's right, it's orange with orange polka dots. Let's see, is this mitten a match? No, this mitten is pink with a white flower. Not a match. What about this mitten? Is this a match? No, this mitten is red with a red snowflake. What about this mitten? Are these mittens alike? Yes, they are. They are both orange with orange polka dots. We have another match. Okay, we just have two sets of mittens left. Do you think we can match them up? I think so too. Let's start with this mitten. What color is this mitten? That's right, it is pink with a white flower. Let's see, is this a match? Are they alike? Yes, they are. Pink mittens with white flowers. Another match. And we have our very last mittens. Let's double check and make sure they go together. Are these mittens the same? Are they alike? They are, they are both red with red snowflakes. Our last match. Let's see how many pairs, sets of two, how many pairs of mittens we have now. One, two, three, four, five. Five pairs of mittens to keep our fingers toasty warm while we play outside in the snow. Our last book today is called The Mitten. And this is a Ukrainian folk tale. And this version is adapted and illustrated by Jan Brett. Now Jan Brett has lots of different parts to her picture. So there's the main part of the picture. And then in this book, along the sides, there are extra pictures. And these ones, the extra pictures are mitten shaped, which is very fun. So we are going to read our book and we're going to look at the, we're going to read the words and we're going to look at the pictures to help us tell the whole story. Once there was a boy named Nikki who wanted his new mittens made from wool as white as snow. And look, we can see in one of the mittens, we can see his grandmother weaving uh, wool to make yarn. And in the other mitten, there she is winding up the yarn she spun to make balls of wool. At first, Nikki's grandmother, Baba, did not want to knit white mittens. 
If you drop one in the snow, she warned, you'll never find it. But Nikki wanted snow white mittens. And finally, Baba made them. After she finished, she said, when you come home, first I will look to see that you are safe and sound, but then I will look to see if you still have your snow white mittens. So off Nikki went, and it wasn't long until one of his new mittens dropped in the snow and was left behind. And look, we see a little animal in one of the mitten pictures. What is that animal called? Do you know? That's right, it's a mole, and moles dig and burrow in the ground. But that's hard to do when the ground is cold and frozen in the winter. A mole, tired from tunneling along, discovered the mitten and burrowed inside. So he dug his way inside. It was cozy and warm and just the right size, so he decided to stay. And then look, we have in our mitten, there's another animal. What animal is that? That's right, it's a rabbit. And this one is a snowshoe rabbit. You can tell because he's all white. Soon, a snowshoe rabbit came hopping by. He stopped for a moment to admire his white winter coat. It was then that he saw the mitten and he wiggled in back feet first. The mole didn't think there was room enough for both of them, but when he saw the rabbit's big kickers, he moved over. So how many animals do we have in the mitten now? That's right, we have two. We have the mole and the rabbit. And I see another animal in the mitten picture. What animal is that that's coming along? That's right, it's a hedgehog. Next, a hedgehog came snuffling along. Having spent the day looking under wet leaves for things to eat, he decided to move into the mitten and warm himself. The mole and the rabbit were bombed and jostled. But not being ones to argue with someone covered in prickles, they made room. So how many animals are in our mitten? We have one mole, one rabbit, and one hedgehog for three animals. And what animal do we see coming next in the mitten? An owl. That'll be interesting. As soon as the hedgehog disappeared into the mitten, a big owl, attracted by the commotion, swooped down. When he decided to move in also, the mole, the rabbit, and the hedgehog grumbled. But when they saw the owl's glinty talons, they quickly let him in. Do you know what talons are? They're like the fingernails of the owl or the claws of the owl. So they were a little bit afraid that the owl might hurt them with his talons. So they made space. So now we have four animals in the mitten. We have a mole, a hedgehog, a rabbit, and an owl. And what animal do we see coming in the mitten picture? A badger, that's right. Suddenly up through the snow appeared a badger. He eyed the mitten and began to climb in. The mole, the rabbit, the hedgehog, and the owl were not pleased. There was no room left. But when they saw his diggers, they gave him space in the thumb. So now we have one, two, three, four, five animals in this mitten. That's one whole hand. And what animal is coming next do you see in the mitten? That's right, an orange fox. It started snowing, but the animals were snug in the mitten. A waft of warm steam rose in the air and a fox trotting by stopped to investigate. Just the sight of the cozy mitten made him feel drowsy. Do you know what drowsy means? It means sleepy. He started to feel sleepy. 
The fox poked his muzzle, right, his nose in. When the mole, the rabbit, the hedgehog, the owl, and the badger saw his shiny teeth, they gave the fox lots of room. So now we have six animals all snuggled in to one little mitten. Uh oh, and do you see what animal's coming next in our mitten cutout picture? It's a bear, a big brown bear. Do you think there's going to be space in this mitten for all those animals plus a bear? Let's find out. Soon a great bear lumbered by. He spied the mitten all plumped up and not one to be left out in the cold. He began to nose his way in. The animals were packed in as tightly as could be. But what animal could argue with a bear? So the mitten swelled and stretched. It was pulled and bulged to many times its size. But Baba's good knitting held fast. So now there are seven animals in this one tiny mitten. And now we have one more animal coming to join us. Do you see its picture in the mitten picture? That's right, a little mouse. Along came a meadow mouse, no bigger than an acorn. She wriggled into the one space left and made herself comfortable on the top of the great bear's nose. And now what's happening in the mitten picture? That's right, Nikki is realizing he has lost one of his mittens. Oh no, that's just what his Baba said was going to happen, right? And suddenly the bear, tickled by the notes, by the mouse's whiskers, gave an enormous sneeze. Should we sneeze together like the bear? Ready? One, two, three, achoo! The force of the sneeze shot the mitten up into the sky and scattered the animals in all directions. Whew, quite the sneeze. And so it shot the mitten up and then on his way home, Nikki saw a white shape in the distance. It was his lost mitten silhouetted against the blue sky. So look, oh good, there it is, he found it because it wasn't on the ground anymore, it was up in the air. As he ran to catch his snow white mitten, he saw his Baba's face in the window. First, she looked to see if he was safe and sound, and then she saw that he still had both of his new mittens. And did he have them both? He did now. But then look, Look at this last picture, she's holding his mittens. And are these mittens the same size anymore? They are not. One is hand size and the other one is stretched out and is like the size of a giant's hand from all those animals burrowing inside. <laughs> the end. All right, friends, that is the end of our story time this week. Now, don't forget to write down your secret code this week. The code is, of course, Mitten. So make sure you write that down to get your Winter Library Challenge points. And grown-ups, if you have watched this story time with your little ones, you get credit for it, too. <laughs> And now it's time for our goodbye song. We read a book and we played a game and we sang a song together. We read a book and we played a game. We had a fun adventure. Now go read a book and go play a game and sing. Bye.